Okay, top of our headlines this morning, a big announcement from David Hasselhoff. Yeah, the 63-year-old actor took to YouTube and Twitter announcing that he's made a major change in his life. We'll leave I've it to him to explain. I've been to drop the hassle from my life for years. Now, I have made it official. David Hoff. Yeah, well, it turns out, however, the name change appears to just be a publicity stunt for his new show, Hoff the Record. Huh? It's airing in the UK. Hasselhoff rep tells Page Six that the video is part of an ad campaign that launches in Australia this weekend. Oh, oh like hot off the record. Yeah, get it? All right. Next up. Let's move on to this wonderful day that it is, Friday the 13th. But we're all lucky. Justin Bieber in One Direction with new albums. Both acts are dropping new albums today, but at least one critic from the New York Times is referring to them all as joyless boys. What? Yeah, I know, blasphemy. Bieber's purpose, he writes, is less of a contribution to popular music and more of a plot point in Bieber's ongoing narrative of himself. Did you get that? The theme of the entire album, that a pseudo sort of outlook. Get it? I, I think that writer is just sour. Yeah. In the meantime, British boy band, and they are a band, One Direction, is also releasing its new album today. But Made in the AM is being seen by Music Insiders as more of a placeholder. In March, they tragically lost Zayn Malik when he left the band. In August, the act announced it would go in hiatus next year. Critics say it shouldn't affect their music sales because One Direction has always been less of a musical proposition than a marketing one. I think those people are thinking way too deeply about these groups. <laughs> All right, well, next to a boy who's full of joy this morning. Yeah, Daniel Radcliffe is now officially among the stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, that is, honored with the walk's 2,565th star, and he's shaved his head. The 26-year-old who captured the world's heart at the tender age of 11 as a boy wizard in the Harry Potter films. He still captures a lot of people's hearts. He does. Radcliffe, of course, has since earned his stripes in several other movies and Broadway plays. His latest film, Victor Frankenstein, in which he plays an assistant to a mad scientist, will hit theaters on November 25th. We will have to look out for that. And finally, we have an update on our continuing coverage that we've had over the last few days. We've had a number of crews on another Hollywood star. Shia LaBeouf. Yes. Your guy. Because <laughs> he's been camped out since Tuesday inside New York's Angelica Film Center, live streaming himself, watching all 27 of his movies in reverse chronological order. It's apparently finally ended his cinema cinematic marathon with his debut in Disney's Even Stevens. Yeah, Disney, of course, is our parent company. LaBeouf called it his All My Movies project for nearly three solid days. He was glued to that seat that you see there. He didn't shower except for 10 minute breaks. I went down there to kind of check it out. The line was so long, one person saw him and said it was unimpressive. Ooh.